Right, okay then Bob, so what I'm going to show you now um, is the same drilling technique but now when the lock is mounted on the right, i.e. looking at the lock, the bolt is on the right hand side. Okay, um, what we've actually done on this lock as opposed to the first lock we showed you, we just removed uh, the, uh, the hard plate from the actual lock, because um, obviously I just don't want to waste hard plate drill bits to tell the truth. Okay, so um, the actual first part of when we drill this lock would remain the same as the left mounted, i.e. using a hard plate bit to go through the hard plate first, swapping over to an HSS bit. Okay, one of the most important things when we drill a lock that's mounted on the right is that we have to ensure that we don't accidentally drill the tailpiece off, i.e. the bolt tail. Because we need the bolt tail, so when we turn the, cur uh, the curtain, that catches the bolt tail and the bolt retracts. So what can happen if you use an oversized drill bit, or you slightly drill towards the back of the lock, then there's a good chance you're going to snap the tailpiece off or drill the tailpiece off. And what that will basically look like, I've got an example of one here. Okay, so there's the bolt, and you'll see no bolt tail. Because the bolt tail originally sat there. But, unfortunately, slightly misdrilled and the bolt tail has been drilled off, i.e. nothing to catch. If you do that by accident, it's not a problem. It just means what you have to do is drill a hole back through the lock case, slightly in towards the bolt, so you're in the big brass lump here, and then you just use a screwdriver through the actual lock, and you would just claw back the bolt. Okay, once you've got the levers in their correct positions. So don't be too concerned if you do accidentally drill the tailpiece off. Okay, but obviously, hopefully I'm going to show you that we don't have to drill the tailpiece off. First thing, uh, again, we always wear eye protection. And the only difference is now, um, we'll be using down to a 6mm drill bit. So i.e. we'll use a 6mm hard plate bit and then a 6mm HSS bit. In an ideal world, again, you really want to come down to about a 4 or 5, but again, I'm just going to use a 6mm so we get a bit more insight into the lock. Okay, so I've already made my mark for my drill point, so again, I'm just going to centre punch that to give me a starting point for my drill bit. Okay, let's get that bit position. Watch the slip. Okay, so that's marked. So again, I'm just going to start off nice and slow. Again, just looking until I'm through the actual lock case, and we just have to imagine I've already gone through the hard plate. Okay, so I'm down to a 6mm HSS bit. So you can hopefully see what that looks like. If I zoom in a bit, hopefully you'll be able to see. Just move that round. You can actually just see a little bit of brass there. So I'll just continue to drill. Okay, so now I'm actually on the bolt. You can actually see the change from the lock case to the bolt. So I'm just going to take my time now until I drill through the bolt. What I want to do is get through the bolt. I don't want to drill all the way into the pack. So just note how slowly that I'm, dr I'm drilling. Just through the body of the bolt tail. And it's only about four or five mil thick. Drill stop check. Drill stop check. Drill stop check. Again, drill stop check. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to check if I am through the actual bolt. 
And what I can do for that, again, is just I'm going to insert a bit of pick, uh, pick wire, okay, just into the keyway, and see if I can see the first lever in front of me move. Okay, so I can just see through a tiny hole that I've got there. I'm just about there. Okay, so I've just got a couple more mil of bolt to go through, if that. There you go, see that bite? Okay, that's the point that I stop. Just going to remove any burr. Just got a bit of bunk burr there. Get rid. Okay, so now I can see the fence is in a lot. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to manoeuvre this so you can see it a bit clearly. Or clearer, should I say. Okay. Excuse the camera work, but I just want you to see what I can see there. Okay. So let that focus. Okay, so what I've basically done is gone through the bolt. And now if I put the pick in and turn that direction to unlock, hopefully what you'll see is the first lever in that lock move a little bit. It's just bound a little bit. I just need to free up the burr. There you go. See that one move out of the way? I don't know if it's too clear because it's quite hard to see what I do. I just get rid of some of this burr. Okay, but literally I can see all the way through that pack. Okay, so all that I now need to do is get a screwdriver into the wheel. Looking in the hole, I'm just going to position the pack clear of the bolt stamp. So I'll just use a screwdriver for that and start to ease that bolt back. Okay, just getting this nice and close look. I just want to ensure that everything is lifted out of the way. Because remember, you may have slightly drilled into the bolt tail. So you just want to take your time making sure that you don't accidentally snap the bolt tail off at this stage. Okay, so you can see there's a bit of manipulation. You can see one at the back there just dropped. See that clear out of the way. Okay, so I'm just coming back now. Again, just making sure that everything stays. Because we've got some slight burr on there, naturally, things sometimes want to stay where they lift to. So again, just gen gentle manipulation, that's all it is. Okay, just about there. get my pick wire in just so I can manipulate these a touch more. Don't know if you saw the bolt wanting to go back then. That's better. You can see I'm not trying to rush this. If you try and rush it, that's when mistakes happen. Okay, so the bolt wants to start to go back. Again, I need to see a lever there. There you go, just fell into place. Just take your time, turn that wheel, and bolt retracts. You can see how it's not gone slightly all the way. So what I could do, just get my pick wire in again, and just tease the bolt a bit. Okay, doesn't want it to go back, so again, just screwdriver onto the bolt. And that would be retracted enough to open the door. Okay, so that's when we drill for the gating from a right mounted. The other alternative would be of course, both left and right, would be to slightly adjust our, dri our drill point and come slightly more in so we hit the bolt stump, because i.e. remove the bolt stump, no bolt stump, turn the curtain wheel, bolt wheel retract.